apparently, um, Toad's Factory has apparently been data mined to be coming to Mario Kart Tour. And I mean, if that's how we get Toad's Factory and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I'll take it. I can't exactly remember how many Wii tracks are supposed to be coming, but one of them could be Toad's Factory. Oh! That's what I get for not paying attention. Um, back to Double Dash Tracks. The de I think the debate is DK Mountain or Dino Dino Jungle. Um, I don't know anyone who wants Dino Dino Jungle again. I mean, the reason I say that is because Dino Dino Jungle was in Mario Kart 7, yes. And DK Mountain was in Mario Kart Wii. Dino Dino Jungle was one of the first um, tracks to be put in Mario Kart Tour. Which means me and I believe most most Mario Kart players are sick of Dino Dino Jungle because we've been playing that track for the past almost four years. I should have used the bullet bill. Koopa Cape. Okay. Okay. Yes. Koopa Cape is in tour, and I think that one is actually been like leaked or data mined to be coming to um the booster course pass as well um i just remembered pretty sure that dk summit is the wii track that we're getting in we in wave four F you know from wii <laughs> so i mean that would be awesome once again, Shy Guy Bazaar to me is another one of those tracks that I'm sick of because it was one that was added. I think it was one of the first tracks in Mario Kart Tour. So, once again, I'm kind of sick of Shy Guy Bazaar. <laughs> so, not too upset that that track wouldn't be in the game. It would have been so cool if they just decided, hey, what if we just add every track ever to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? That would be awesome. Apparently Shroom Ridge, um, you know, the only, I think the only track in the Booster Course Pass to not also be on Mario Kart Tour so far uh hasn't been leaked still for mario kart tour so shroom ridge might might still be the only surviving track to not get toured dk mountain yeah i think dk mountain is uh also we're supposed to be getting four Double Dash tracks. DK Mountain or Dino Dino Jungle is one of them. Um, I think it's because their mu the music was leaked in the game. Oh my god, I was in first? I'll take it! I had no idea I was in first. How long was I in first for? Oh, that last, literally that last little section. That's how long I was in first. That's what I'm talking about. W. I think the double dash tracks that are apparently coming are Waluigi Stadium or Wario Coliseum. Um, DK Mountain or Dino Dino Jungle. Daisy Cruiser. And what was the other one? Oh, um, Mushroom Bridge or Mushroom City. I'd rather have Mushroom City. I feel like 
that track is much more interesting. Um, and also, it's it hasn't been just never appeared in a Mario Kart game outside of Double Dash. And it'd be nice to get more of those. Which is another reason why I want Wario Coliseum so badly. That's that's quite literally the only reason I wanted Wario Stadium for Mario Kart 64 in this game, because it just hasn't been brought back. What if make a track set in Deep Song City? So, that would be cool. I could see that possibly happening. Um, but apparently... I know I keep doing that, but apparently. I've just been watching a lot of you know, people predicting their stuff. And you know, it a lot of it hinders on the fact that there are leaks and stuff. And um, so Yoshi's Island was a leaked course. There were hints and evidence that there was a course relating to Yoshi's Island coming to Mario Kart Tour. Um, there was also something that was hinting or, you know, the evidence towards the fact that there was going to be some sort of track with the eel from Mario Kart 64, or the Moray eel, um, in the track. And that track was just put in Mario Kart Tour called Piranha Plant Cove. So that was right. The Yoshi's Island thing was right. The other one I heard is supposed to be a new Donkey Kong theme track. So it could be a new Donk City track. That'd be kind of cool. I can't remember how many tracks I, I did with Toadette. Um, so I'm going to do another one. If it's more than three, I apologize. I try to do three tracks with one character and sometimes I completely lose track, so. This might be f the fourth race. And also now it's too late to change the characters. But I, yeah, I guess a new Donk City track is a possibility. Considering that leak or whatever you want to call it. Data mine. I guess they could be the same things. supposed to be getting another Super Mario Kart track. Um, just one more. And I think it's going to be one of the Vanilla Lakes. Um, which, I mean, I wouldn't be too upset about. There are a lot of snow courses in this game. Um, snow, ice courses, whatever you want to call them. Um, so if we're getting DK Summit, um, we've got Snowland, Mount Wario, uh, Sherbet Land, Ice Ice Outpost. I'm definitely, like, forgetting some. I swear that there's a lot in the game. What? I said Sherbet Land. Yeah, that was terrible. Um, so what I think would be nice is we get a Bowser Castle from Super Mario Kart because none of those have been remade and we have like no Bowser Castle tracks in this game other than the original one. So, hey Nintendo, let's get some more Bowser Castle tracks in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, huh? I think we only have the base Bowser Castle, right? I don't think th they've brought back any other ones. I either want GBA Bowser Castle 4 or one of the SNES Bowser Castles. 
and I ran out of time to change my character, so it's definitely more than three tracks this time. Oopsie! I haven't talked this much in a while. <laughs> to God, if you let me, don't do it. Oh, that's not very helpful right here. Let's go. I don't know how that worked out. I'll take it. David, don't forget to cha change your character this time. Thanks, David. <laughs> 